Hello YouTube. Gotta take a deep breath here. This I'm sure it says Rogers. Made in Korea. I'll step a photo of it. We're gonna make a nice sharp knife out of this. I find this stuff at thrift stores. I found this one in the desk. Probably the last one I have. I was at a thrift store and could have bought some more, but uh, the red is the original outline and that's my idea. We're not going to follow exactly, but we do want to make this straighter right in here. So what we'll do is we'll cut this out with the scissors. Okay, or the paper will lay in there and put a sharpie mark on the blade. And then we'll kind of follow it. It never turns out exactly. I'm blowing out the camera. So that light so bright when it hits anything shiny in there, see what it does. And this is my old camera because I may include a few clips of me at the grinder, like the diamond wheel, which I rarely show. Uh, my diamond sanding disc. That's what we're going to grind this down with. And we spray water out. It's not going to get hot. We're not going to lose the edge or the strength of the metal, the temper, or whatever you want to call it. We're, we're not going to ruin the metal. Trust me, I, I have my finger, I touch my finger on this stuff all the time to make sure it ain't hot. The diamond will remove stuff so fast that it doesn't really heat up unless you really bear into it. So stay tuned. We don't want this to be a real long video, but we do want to include some neat stuff. Being the old camera doesn't mind all these electric motors like the new one has a fit. So stay tuned. enough light over here that's why it looks so dim you get the idea there we go this old camera has the same that light so bright okay it's similar to what I draw it out it's never going to be exact that's just an idea so we did make it straight we want a nice gradual curve on this of course we like that it's like a drop point. We always guarantee you get a sharp point. Kind of a dull looking handle, but who knows what we'll do with it. We may wrap it in paracord with epoxy or something, make it bigger. But uh, we do have an idea of putting a your finger notch in here. You know, you put your finger like that and use it. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Probably not on this one. Uh, wear some kind of gloves because you know, like on any sand or diamond when you get those burrs Those are little slivers. They will stick right under your fingernail. They'll stick you in the finger That thing on my grinder is having a scratch in some metal, so it'll be buffed out though Okay off to our sharpener machine and we'll start putting an edge on here uh we may freehand grind that first to get started. This is pretty good stuff here, stainless steel. It's older. It's going to be a little better than some cheapy knife. So it is pretty tough. Of course, it's flexible. It's a table knife. It was never meant to probably be having a sharp edge on it. But, so that's kind of plain, but that doesn't matter. We're not done yet. So stay tuned. Okay, it sure is windy outside. It's gonna go below zero tonight. I'm not gonna be able to tell you the exact below. Ten below, it's gonna be 35 mile an hour wind gust all in the Midwest here in Iowa. So it's starting in. It was so nice out. Now it's getting colder and windier. Uh, we took it to the workshop sharpener at 20 degrees. Then went to 25 and the thing finally broke. We will have a video showing what broke. I'm not even gonna try to get a replacement part. One of the little plastic bowls broken, just locked it up. Uh, I can look back, one of my first videos when I first bought it, but I've got my use out of it, so it may be repurposed into something else. The motor still runs. 
If anybody remembers when I first got there, I already complained how it squeaked so bad. I kept oiling the motor. It's like it had a cheap brass bushing and it would squeal when it was cold. Anyway, we're off topic. That's the best we can do. We're going to do the rest by hand. And that thing will take your tip off. So it wasn't dedicated on that. See what? I don't care what you try to, what I try to do, I mean, somebody else may, it'll take the tip off your knife. It is only good for sharpening a pair of garden shears or something. You know, not to just the product, but if it's an old whatever you're sharpening, yeah, it's a nice tool for what it is. But it's not for knife sharpening like I use this me mechanism monstrosity. You know, it's not for fine work. It's just for a rough work on, uh, tools you know and things like that it's not what you want to try to make a really quality knife blade out of there you go we're talking too long this video is going to be too long so stay tuned we're going to work on it with some different grits of stones and stuff put a razor sharp edge on here I don't think it's going to last a long time but using it in the kitchen or camping uh, you can always resharpen it you ain't going to go chop down a tree with it I always say that it's going to be good enough to use for like kitchen camping news Beware, don't just throw this in the kitchen and somebody get a hold of it and cut themselves. Uh, keep stuff like this put up if people in the house aren't familiar with you having razor sharp knives. Uh, you don't want a kid grabbing a table knife like this. This is my disclaimer. That's all you get. Stay tuned. Okay, we're done. We used our blue scrubby wheel, bristled wheel. Kind of gave it that brush stainless look. It way hides all the scratches. It's not perfect. It's not a show knife. And we did the edge using our knife sharpener. So there you go. We did go back to the diamond disc and put a point back on here. Uh, we'll have a video sometime of what's broke on that work sharp sharpener. Y'all know what it is. It's got the little belts on it. If you've watched my videos over the years, yeah, it's good enough. It's just a work knife, utility knife, kitchen knife. And I like that. That hides the scratches. That's about all that brush is good for. You can't really get any rust off with it. So there you go. Snap a couple photos. Thanks for watching.